The following is a presentation of the Dallas Genealogical Society. For more information, please see our website at dallasgenealogy.org. All right, good morning, everybody. Everybody can start making their way to their seats. All right, can everybody hear me okay? Good? You know, it, it seems, thank you for being here. It seems like a lot of the times we get together, um, it's a challenge to get together. Uh, everybody have any issues this morning getting in? Oh, no. Smooth sailing? No. Okay, right. Yes, I'm the only one telling the truth. <laughs> Well, thank you. Thank you for fighting through all of that. This is a, it's a really fun time of the year, and I appreciate everybody coming to, to sort of celebrate uh, and have a little fun today. So this year's award luncheon, which is being dedicated to the memory of Lloyd Boxtrup, who passed away earlier this year. As most of you know, Lloyd had a significant amount of influence in our society and on the library and within the national genealogical community. Lloyd began working for the genealogy section of the Dallas Public Library in 1973. He became the director in 1979 and worked there until his retirement in 2009, a span of 36 years. Under his leadership, the, gen the genealogy collection of the library grew to 50,000 books by 1988 and passed the 100,000 book mark in 2006, thanks in large part to the society and many, many of the individuals sitting in this room. <laughs> Included in that collection are 10 genealogical reference monographs auth authored by Lloyd as well as a compilation of his weekly genealogical columns that were published in the Dallas Morning News between 1991 and 1996. Lloyd also established himself as a highly respected genealogical authority who spoke frequently at local, regional, and national conferences. He was named a fellow by the Texas State Genealogical Society and the National Genealogical Society, who also presented him with their award of merit and their Philby Prize for genealogical librarianship. It's a mouthful there. <laughs> he was also named as an outstanding alumnus by the Institute of Genealogical and Historical Research and received many, many other honors over the course of his career. Lloyd was closely affiliated with our society. He served almost continuously as the library, library liaison to the board of directors from 1980 until his retirement. During his employment at the library, our society was responsible for more than $650,000 in donations to the genealogy section and Lloyd was instrumental in directing how those funds were utilized by the library. The fact that, this, that Family Search has sent a high quality digital scanner and volunteers, Blair and Lainey Monker, which are, where are you guys? There we are. Thank you. At the library. Um, who are here to digitize many of those books is a fitting tribute to Lloyd and the collection that he so lovingly curated. At the time of his death, we established a, mem a memorial fund in his honor. And I'm happy to report that an appropriate use of those funds has been identified by Stephanie Bennett, the current manager of the genealogy section at the library, who wrote this. Prior to his passing this year, Lloyd used to be a judge at the annual National Genealogical Society Book Award. Every year, he would visit our library after the competition was over and donate his copies of the books nominated for this award. He would painstakingly designate a person to be honored or memorialized for each book and when I was at the genealogy librarian, when I was the genealogy librarian on staff, I got the opportunity to sit with him and take notes while he did so. He continued to make this donation even, uh, even while he was getting weak. This is one of my fondest memories of Lloyd and we're formerly working with him. I love that he continued to work on adding books to the collection that he so carefully built, even after his retirement. We hope to continue his legacy by continuing to add to the continuing to add the same books that he would have added to the collection as if he was still here with us. That's great, Stephanie, wherever you are. <laughs> Thank you. In addition, the Board of Directors of the Dallas Genealogical Society has agreed to establish a scholarship fund in Lloyd's honor. Employees of the genealogy section of the library will be able to receive up to $1,500 each year to cover the costs associated with attending either the Institute of Genealogical and Historical Research or the Texas Institute of Genealogy Research. This fund will be administered by the Friends of the Dallas Public Library, Mary Wolanski, 
the director of the Friends of the Dallas Public Library, is here today to accept, accept a check in the amount of $7,500 to fund this for the first five years. Where is Mary? Oh. Okay, I would also like to introduce Joe Gadice, director of the Dallas Public Library, to come up and say a few words. Good morning. <clears throat> Thank you all for being here and welcome. I know this is your second home for many of you. And I kind of threw Todd a curveball this morning because. We did get the uh, letter from the society requesting that uh, part of the collection or the collection be named for Lloyd. Um, and we took it to the Municipal Library Board as our policy states. And what came out of that is we uh, found that our policy was pretty antiquated and hadn't been updated in a long time. And so my board suggested that we update the policy. So that was a few months ago and you know the city of Dallas and the speed of getting things done because it, it will have to go through council to change the policy so but as the policy stands today the Municipal Library Board can say yes and then it becomes the director's decision so we decided to go ahead and move forward with that prior to updating the policy because it was taking so long so I'm happy that you guys are learning today because we just made this decision last week at the last board meeting that we will be naming part of the collection for Lloyd. I'll be working with the staff and Stephanie to determine exactly what that will be, and we'll work with Todd and you all to determine that, but I have just came with happy news, and so happy holidays. I think this is fantastic. <laughs> That is really exciting news. We're, we're so thrilled that it is the perfect holiday gift. Um, and, and we do appreciate all the work that I can only imagine has to go through a decision and a process like that. So thank you very much. We really appreciate it. OK, let's move on to the award section. Uh, please help me welcome Kathleen Murray to the podium. Kathleen. I'm going to give out the first award. I assume you probably hear me. <clears throat> the Renee Jackson Smith Award was instituted in 2004 uh, in honor of a woman who was very prominent and very, thank you, active uh, in the DGS. This year's recipient is Ken Johnston. Ken is a professional artist who has consistently donated his talents and time to produce professional promotional materials for DGS seminars. This includes not only the brochures you all receive, but also the artwork that goes into our seminar flyers, into the postcards that are advertising our seminars at your tables, into some other artwork that you can see up here, as well as all of the art for our social media outlets. The materials are unique and themed and truly raise the professional image of the Dallas Genealogical Society. His work is exceptional, as is his generosity. So it's my pleasure to recognize Ken by awarding him a scholarship to each of the three 2019 seminars. Please congratulate Ken. The Award of Merit is presented annually to a DGS member 
who has consistently contributed time, talent, expertise, and abilities to the society over a period of years. This member's dedication and hard work in the name of the society usually goes way above the norm. Their contributions stand out. This year's recipient of the Award of Merit has a lengthy history of willingly dedicating her time, talent, and expertise to the Dallas Genealogical Society. She is one of DGS's unsung heroes. She has served on the board in several capacities and for a number of years has been chair of the membership committee. At every DGS meeting, she greets, greets everyone when they sign in and signs up new members. Her responsibility at all special lectures is to plan for and organize the registration table, having name tags for all re registrants and having checkoff lists of those who attend, as well as supervising her helpers at that table. She has this down to a science. When the post of mail administrator became vacant, she took over that responsibility as well. This entails picking up the mail from our P.O. box and distributing it to the proper departments. She has written several helpful articles for our e-newsletter. All of the above more than qualifies Gloria Goodwin for the Award of Merit for 2018, and I'm delighted to present it to her. Gloria. So the Volunteer of the Year Award is presented annually to a member who has generously volunteered time, expertise, talents, and abilities to the society over the previous year. This year's recipient has established herself as a vibrant, prominent leader within our society. She was instrumental in the planning and execution of the highly successful Jack and Jill genealogy event we held last January that introduced young researchers and their parents to the exciting field of family research. She is responsible for managing several aspects of our past three seminars and is currently involved in the planning of our upcoming 29 and 2020 seminars. Visitors to last month's Texas State Genealogical Society Conference and more recently at the Genealogy Expo held at the Frisco Public Library were greeted at our display table by a beaming smile and walked away with a fistful of literature and information about our society. Genealogists who stopped by our Family History Research Assistance Table with this year's Genealogy Network of Texas also benefited from her friendliness, knowledge, and advice. We've all benefited from her dedication as our Director of our Education. Uh, her selection of outstanding speakers this year has been guided by the results of the membership survey that she conducted and analyzed soon after taking office, and all of our members have had the opportunity to read about those meetings and the numerous articles she has written for our newsletter. Those of you who have attended just about any event held by our society this year have seen her hard at work. She's just back in from relieving glory at the table over there, so please welcome me in congratulating Lisa Ross this year. <laughs> The Heritage Preservation Award is presented annually to an individual, a group, or organization in recognition of their contributions to preserve, conserve, house, or collect family history. The accomplishments we have chosen for recognition this year are a textbook example of such an effort. One objective listed in the DGS mission statement is to collect, preserve, copy, and index information relating to Dallas County and its early history. 
The 20 A Remarkable Team Heritage Preservation Award recognizes a remarkable team effort for a multi-year project that accomplishes that mission. This project began before 2009 when the Dallas Public Library received a collection of funeral home records that provide invaluable genealogical and historical information for the Dallas African American community. The first phase of the project involved organizing the records, filing them in archival folders and boxes, and storing them on the eighth floor history and genealogy section of the Dallas Public Library. The DGS 2009 Preservation Award recognized this effort. Phase two of the project and the work we honor here today began in 2010. Volunteers began indexing these records to ensure researchers would have access to the details contained within those. A volunteer created a Microsoft Access database and between 2010 and 2016, Aura Penn and other volunteers worked on a single laptop to enter information from each burial record. In 2014, RL Canada developed an information sheet used to extract information from the records allowing for additional volunteer particip participation. The indexing project picked up speed as the initial project team expanded to eight participants. And indeed, during several meetings of this group, volunteers from the general membership helped with the data extraction work. Then in May 2016, Tony Hansen created an online database housed on the DGS server, which allows the public searches of the indexed records. The team completed the data entry in May 2018 and reviewed and corrected inconsistencies in the database through the summer and fall. The McGowan Funeral Home Records database is operational, searchable, and contains over 5,500 records. Today we recognize the African American Genealogical Interest Group and the individual volunteers who completed the McGowan Funeral Home Project Phase Two indexing. Here today to accept the award on behalf of all the people who have worked on the project are Ora Penn and Donald Henson. Congratulations to the African American Genealogical Interest Group. <laughs> On so I can see. Okay, today it is my duty, privilege, and honor to announce the 2018 recipient of the Distinguished Service Award. This is the DGS Award presented to an individual for outstanding contributions in the field of genealogy. These are our professional researchers, teachers, lecturers, authors, and genealogical librarians. They excel in the pursuit of family history in their communities, in their states, and on a national level. The award was presented for the first time in 1994 to the late Lloyd DeWitt Buckstrup, and thank you for those beautiful words, Todd. The first DGS award committee felt so strongly about all of Lloyd's uh, outstanding and valuable contributions made to the society and to genealogy at large that they made the determination that the award would thereafter be called the Lloyd DeWitt Bockstrup Distinguished Service Award. In the past 24 years, this award has gone to a lot of truly well-known and well-deserved professionals. It was not unusual to seek out the Lloyd stamp of approval each year <laughs> for those people and the recipient for that year. I would like to think he would be very happy and pleased with this year's recipient. I have known the 2018 recipient for well over 30 years. 
When I first met him in the mid-1980s, he was a skinny, dark-haired young whippersnapper <laughs> who wore bow ties and sport coats with patches on the sleeves. At the time, he was a library associate in the genealogy department upstairs, and as a matter of fact, he is the person responsible for me getting my job in the genealogy department by calling me one November day and saying, there's a library associate job open, you need to come apply for it. And darned if Lloyd didn't hire me. <laughs> that was 29 years ago. He hung around DPL for about 10 years, honing his genealogical skills, and today he is a well-known and respected forensic genealogist working for probate attorneys, 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 probate attorneys, trust departments of banks, U.S. Immigration Service, and for many uh, oil and gas companies. Additionally, he specializes in southern research and solving brick wall problems for clients. And as a little aside to that person, he also knows how many U-turns you can make in the state of Mississippi. <laughs> while hunting for graveyards, because we have done that. He is well known locally, statewide, and on a national level as a genealogical speaker and teacher. He has served on the faculty of the Salt Lake Institute of Genealogical Research and the Institute of Genealogical Re and Historical Research, and he serves as a director of the Texas Institute of Genealogical Research, sponsored by the Texas State Genealogical Society. His most recent publication is Research in Texas, for the National Genealogical Society's Research in the State series. It is with great pleasure that I present the 2018 Lloyd DeWitt Buckstruck Distinguished Service Award to my friend, colleague, and sometimes partner in crime, Kelvin L. Myers. Okay, and, and last but not least, um, there's the President's Special Award. Uh, and the definition, the President's Special Award honors individuals or groups whose contributions to the society fall outside the criteria for other awards. awards. In other words, it's, it's sort of up to the discretion of the President to pick somebody if they want to, um, or a group. Uh, and in this case, I'm recognizing a member of the society whose commitment is unparalleled. He has a passion and energy that, that simply is inspiring uh, every single day. You mix this with a strong sense of humor and you have somebody that is, is truly special and wonderful. His thought leadership and execution is visible across the society. He's there to create, guide, roll up his sleeves when necessary to accomplish the task, whatever that task is. This recognition goes beyond his long exceptional experience uh, it, it's been a little bit of a challenging year for me personally, and this person has been there to help push, drive, and make sure that we and the society are successful. So I, I have so many thanks uh, and praise to this leader, mentor, and friend. Please help me thank and recognize Mr. Tony Hansen. And I would like to put Tony right to work uh, and come up and for the next part. <laughs> Thank you, Todd. In 2012, our society was the benefactory of the, the estates from two former members. In May, we received a $40,500 bequest from C. Maxine Morrison. And in October of that year, we received an additional $5,000 bequest from Pamela R. Holman. We've been waiting to find a suitable use for those funds, and this year we finally found one. If you haven't had a chance to visit the 8th floor to see some of the changes that have gone on up there, I encourage you to do so. That new arrangement is really wonderful. I think as you walk off the elevator and see that front desk there, it just presents a, a whole new look to the 8th floor, and it's wonderful. 
If you've been up there since July, uh, you probably noticed the glass walls that were erected to create the room where Family Search and Blair and Leaney are now working on the digitization up there. Um, and so they've been working out there for several months and quite happily. What you may not know is that that room was erected and paid for um, by the Dallas Genealogical Society. It was an idea that Gayla Bush had before she left her job, kind of a vision she had, and we were all too happy to write the check and make that happen. So for a little bit over $16,000, we've created a pretty nice little digitization area up there, and we're happy to do that. So while I can't present the library with the key to the room, because they have it and won't give it to us, I, <laughs> I can at least publicly announce here that, that the room is there and that we we're only too proud to be able to create it for them. In addition, we've been discussing the desirability of obtaining some additional equipment to place in that room permanently. Um, the eighth floor and other parts of the library have a large backlog of materials that they would love to digitize and be able to make publicly available to the, to the public at large. So it is my good fortune to be able to announce today that a purchase order for an I2S copybook scanner, identical to the one that Family Search currently has placed up there, has been placed by the Dallas Genealogical Society earlier this week. Uh, it's a cost of about $35,500. It's a wonderful piece of equipment, and we're anticipating delivery before the end of the year. So in addition to you know, the digitization that the library is going to be performing of their records, we anticipate using the scanner to digitize the materials that we as a society own. Uh, we hope to have some bring your family heirloom digitization events for the general public in cooperation with the library. And also in addition, making it available for projects for other genealogical and historical societies in the North Texas region. So we hope to make that kind of a, a digitization center of excellence in partnership with the library. So these gifts possibly, you know, possible in large part to the, the generous donations made by Maxine and Pamela demonstrate our ongoing commitment and support for the genealogy section of the Dallas Library. So Joe, if I could have you could come back up here again. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't present you with the scanner, but I can present you with this wonderful picture of the scanner that's going to show up here very soon. I trust you. <laughs> And I think I'm done. So, Kelvin, you had a few words that you would like to say to us about something that's very exciting coming up. And we'll let you come back up here. You may regret giving me the microphone, but <laughs> I, first off, I want to thank the Society very much for the award. Um, I would give nothing for having worked with Lloyd as long as I did and as much as I learned from him. He was a good man. We didn't always see eye to eye, truly, but he was a, I learned so much from him. And the advent of the scholarship for, uh, in his name, I think is a great idea. And uh, I want to talk to you about two things. We have two great events coming up. The um, Society on Thursday, December the 20th, yes, I know it's five days before Christmas, but we have a very unique opportunity. We are going to have in our midst Kenyatta Berry. Y'all may remember Kenyatta from the uh, Genealogy Roadshow on PBS. She was one of the hosts. She has written a book um, called The Family Tree Toolkit, and she is going to be here at the Dallas Public Library to give a talk uh, on Thursday, December the 20th from 6 to 8 p.m. with a chance that you can uh, hear her talk, buy her book, and uh, have a talk with her about genealogy. And this came to us late in the scheme of things that's why we're just now announcing this but we'd love to have you here i want to thank stephanie for all the help she has given us in getting this promoted and the publicity and um, i we are very pleased to have stephanie as a part of our team here at dallas public library in our department we think she's doing a great job The other thing that I want to mention to you, uh, they mentioned briefly, is the Texas Institute of Genealogical Research. This is our second, uh, our second time around. We meet every other year. And this year we have uh, two tracks going. We have a, the first track, which is Research Essentials in Texas, basically learning how to research your ancestor in Texas. This is such a unique state and there are so many unique things about it we need a full week of learning how to research in Texas. The other that we have available is uh, Southern Research, and we have the distinct privilege of having J. Mark Lowe from Kentucky, or Tennessee actually, who is going to coordinate that track. It is to be held June the 10th through the 14th in Austin. 
You will have an opportunity for research at the Texas State Library and the Texas General Land Office. Uh, registration open November the 30th through the Texas State Genealogical Society. Of course, I have flyers. Please come see me. We will, these will also be upstairs in the uh, genealogy section. We have a great staff uh, that will be a part of this. Uh, our own Ari Wilkins, uh, Patty Gillespie, who is a member of our society, uh, Terry Flack, John Sellers, and myself will be teaching. And we would love to have you all come spend a week with us in uh, Austin. And you can talk to Jim Thornhill and Barbara and... Uh, Susan, whose name I just totally forgot, they attended the first one. I can tell you how much fun it was and how much we enjoyed it. So thank you very much. All right. Well, thank you all for being here again today, uh, supporting the act and supporting the activities of the Dallas Genealogical Society. A special thanks to Jim Thornhill, um, Lisa Ross, who is somewhere, um, and Sharon Bowles for, for organizing and getting this, uh, this thing up and running. We know, yeah. We know, Patty, we can't forget Patty, Patty Smith, thank you, yes. <laughs> okay, um, I'd like to thank all the volunteers uh, just in general. This is always a, a fun time of year. Uh, we recognize some folks and then we'll have dinner in just a few minutes. Uh, but thank you for all that you do for the society. Uh, we look forward to a, to a really outstanding 2019. Um, I would also like to thank the members of, of the awards committee, Tony Hansen, Todd D. Decker, Susan Younger, and Barbara Ware for their work in uh, selecting such an outstanding slate of candidates. Before we leave though before we turn it over to lunch I think do we have some raffle activity is now the time it feels like it's a good time yeah <laughs> oh, well, that board is getting bad. I will uh, say that if you reach under the left side of your chair here on the bottom somebody's gonna have a little bone star Okay. And if you got the little thumb star, you can take home the centerpiece or give it to a friend at the table. So I, I will, here's my Scrooge thing, I will say this. A lot of the stuff within the arrangement is mine. It's not <laughs> Thank you. So, so just, just to reiterate, reach under the left side of your chair, and if there's a star there, you get to take home the plant. Yep. But, but please leave all the decorations and lights. Otherwise, someone will come after you. <laughs> all right. How are we? All right, and we do have three uh, three raffles that we'll be doing. We'll call out the names, and whoever the the lucky recipient is, you can just go. Oh, maybe we're. Yep, Lisa will hand them off. So I'm gonna reach in. Okay, David W. Meek. All right, congratulations. Head back to the, that way. All right, we'll shake these up. Okay. Oops. Okay, Cynthia Gilly? Gully? Gully. All right, congratulations. So I ripped it in half. <laughs> All right, and the last one. Huh, I don't know who this is. Um, Patty Huff Smith. Uh, <laughs> All right, congratulations. And once again, thanks for coming out. I think we need about five minutes for the food, so just uh, talk amongst yourselves and. We'll open it up in just a few minutes. Thank you.
This has been a production of the Dallas Genealogical Society. If you are already a member, thank you. Your dues support this and other society activities. If you are not yet a member, please consider joining now. Go to our website at dallasgenealogy.org and click on the membership tab, or to donate, click on the Get Involved tab.